been asked to talk about blocking leather so that's what we're going to be doing today just a little bit there to show you so we're going to talk about leather in general now if you're using leather for hats if you're blocking you can only block fairly easy simple shapes like a button block now if you wanted to do say i don't know a fedora or um a beret a soft beret you would have to do this in pieces you would have to cut your top cut your sides etc and stitch together so it would be in effect a flat pattern hat because you can't block leather over that unless you've got specialist uh, steam machinery etc so you can only do certain shapes and styles if you're blocking leather and what we're going to do today is we're going to block on this button block and we're going to look at the leathers I've got and we're also going to talk about the materials now one of the major things is you need leather needles whether you're sewing on the machine or by hand now leather needles have a flat part to them so that they slide through the leather and they don't make nasty horrible holes you'll find it much easier you can buy leather needles for hand stitching easily enough and you can buy them for the machine and again they have a flat um, tip to them to ease them through the leather so I would always say make sure you use the right needles if you're sewing leather. Now leather obviously comes in a wide variety of types and it also depends on how the leather has been tanned, how it's been processed. Now this is very soft suede one side leather the other which is the type of leather that's used for clothing so it has to be very soft and malleable and this is great for blocking over a block now you can't stiffen this you can people say oh you can stiffen it with hot water etc but it will never be stiff enough to keep the shape so we have to use a foundation to stiffen the leather and we will be using um paris net for this so i'm going to be using paris net as my foundation and then leather for my top some leathers you can stiffen and again this is it's a difficult one because it depends where you get your leather from now these were these are vintage leathers i've had these a long time now you'll see this is a lot thicker this leather it's the type of leather probably used for leather upholstery now this will stiffen with pva stiffener so i don't have to use um, a base for it a foundation base but this won't stiffen and again it's all to do with how it's processed what type of leather it is how it's tanned etc now my advice is if you want to start off with leather buy something like a leather jacket or something in a charity a thrift shop chop that up and use it first don't don't go mad buying very expensive leathers before you've had a chance to sort of press the uh, soft and I've decided that I might go with this lovely blue tealy blue color now the only snag is because this is vintage it does have marks on it so I'm probably going to end up using the suede side so I'm going to use the suede as the top because this side of the leather is it's too badly marked really for me to get a decent um, piece out of it so that's what we're going to use and we're going to use our Paris net so first off we have to cover our block with cling film so I'm going to cover the block stop stop everything sticking to it there we are and uh, Get it on nice and smooth all right and now i'm going to cut paris net to fit now if i had had a dark buckram i probably would have used that but i i've only got a dark paris net 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two layers because I want this is quite a big beret block so I want it to be sturdy so I'm going to cut two layers so one Ooh. it's a bit unwieldy this stuff because obviously it's very stiff oh, I won't worry too much about the shape as long as I've got enough to cover it okay now I need to wet the Paris net to make it uh, flexible now Paris net is like buckram it's a uh, it's a woven fabric it just has a wider mesh to it and obviously it's stiffened so I'm going to wet it there we are so I let that just soak that in for and obviously I've got to cut my piece of leather to fit and a, this is quite a wide block. I need a fairly big piece so that it will go under and stretch around. So I'm going to cut a piece that I think will fit round. The times I've cut things too small and they don't work. <laughs> but there we are. Right, so I've got my leather and I've got my other pieces cut. So what I'm going to do now is start with the Paris net. I've run out of space in this studio. Well, they always say, no matter how big a space you've got, you fill it, don't you? So. But let's get that really wet there. And of course your hands go all sticky as well. So, let's pull it all around. Right, now, because I do things ad hoc, I didn't cut the Paris net big enough, so I swapped for a slightly smaller block. <laughs> Obviously, you will cut your Paris net big enough. You won't be like me having to swap blocks halfway through. But there you are, you see, that's, I'm sure that's part of the fun of my videos. You never know what's going to happen. So. Right, so there we have it. I've tried to get rid of any lumps and bumps around the edge. And I'm going to set that to one side now to dry. Now, what I've done is I've wet my leather. I've sprayed it with warm water. Now, of course, the colour will change. And I want to make it supple. Now, be aware when you do this, some leathers don't react well to getting wet. If you start seeing colour coming out, stop. It's best to test on a little piece first. But anyway, I've wet this. and. I now, unfortunately, I lost part of my video. Oh, well, I thought I was videoing and it turned out I hadn't been. So we have skipped a bit of a step. <laughs> so, where I'd blocked the buckram and let it dry, the reason I'd done that was because to put the, oh, sorry, not the buckram, the Paris net, to put the Paris net and the leather on at the same time is extra difficult to try and get rid of all the creases. So once the Paris net was almost dry, I took the pins out. And then I blocked the suede leather over the top of it. Now, again, you can see it's still damp. I've pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled so that I haven't got any um, horrible, nasty pleats all around the edge. And I've trimmed off all the excess so that it will dry a bit quicker. So that is now drying. Now, what I did was where I cut the excess off it was all crinkly like that so I've decided to use that for my decoration so I've cut another piece and crinkled it up a bit and I'm going to have that as my decoration on top of the hat but in the meantime I'm going to block 
a lining. Now, because I want the lining to be seen, remember you're blocking it the other way round. So you're blocking the um, right side to the block. Now you don't have to block the lining, but it gives a nicer finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of PVA stiffener on it so that I can stretch it out nicely and it will um, be a bit stiffer and it will form a nice edge on the block. Would be helpful if my stiffener wasn't all bunged up in the bottle. But there we are. So, there we are. So I want the right side down, which is that side. And I'm just going to pin that so that it dries nice and smooth with no crinkles. Oh, my pin didn't stick in. Now it doesn't have to be folded over the edge because obviously it's only got to fit a small area. So I'm going to just put a few pins in, stretch it into place Try as well. So that's drying. I've cut off the excess and that's drying. So it's me again. So this should have dried, let's hope. And I'm just going to take all the pins out. So I won't bore you with that bit. I'll just shut up and speed that on. Now I've just pulled it off and I can feel that little areas of it are still damp. So what I'm going to do is, what I do is I take a smaller block and press it into the middle. Found a good, I found a good block to stick it on. And I'm just checking it's not too wrinkly and crinkly. Because there's nothing worse than wrinkly and crinkly. So I'm going to put that there and work on my decoration. So what I did was my my little block I had didn't fit very well. So I put that block in and I've dried it fully on there so that um, it's all nice and neat and tidy, as you can see. Now, that's only pushed in because I need to stitch my decoration on and then I need to put my... Uh, lining in so I'm going to do stitch the decoration on now so what I've done is I've sewn on my squishy sort of oh looks very pretty I think sort of leather on the top I've put the lining back in the middle and then I'll attach a hat elastic I won't go through every process because obviously all my videos show how to put hat elastic in, how to sew this on, how to sew that on. So I feel like I'm repeating myself a bit. So I'll give it a brush. And there it is. Done.